Last year, the DEA collected 883,000 pounds of prescription drugs and more than 1,700 pounds in Montana alone on National Prescription Take Back Day. The organization says misuse can lead to abuse of opioids and other drugs. Well, today is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, and Billings held their own collection event this afternoon. MTN's David J has more on today's event. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. The DEA's Drug Take Back Day has been bringing in unused prescriptions twice a year for 10 years, and collecting old drugs has been an Elks Lodge project for about 15 years. That's a bigger problem, right? From a minor uh, kid taking uh, mom and dad's Oxycontin out of their cabinet to then getting addicted and then going, getting older and getting into heroin or other, other issues that just mess up a person's life. Properly disposing of drugs also helps the environment and health in a different way. It's just healthy to take drugs off the street and not flush them down the toilet, which then goes into the water system. The DEA runs the Take Back program, but it's important to others involved in law enforcement, including the U.S. Attorney's Office. Opioids and overdose deaths continue to rise. Uh, the, year, the prior year, we had seen a decrease in overdose deaths for the first time in quite a while. And then last year, for the year ending in February, in the, across the country, we saw an 8.2% increase in overdose deaths again. So again, with opioids, one of the best things we can do is get prescription opioids out of the medicine cabinets. Kurt Almy, U.S. Attorney for the District of Montana, says prescription drug abuse can lead to more drug use. The main concern is if people start getting hooked on an opioid like Oxycontin or Oxycodone because of pain or because of a prescription, that then when they can't afford those pills anymore, they'll shift to heroin or they'll shift to fentanyl. And they say information and teaching about drugs is part of dealing with abuse. The cabinet is available in a kid's in a, in a home. And mom and dad needs to be educated. They have to secure those drugs. Almost 16% of high school kids in Montana have taken a prescription drug for which they didn't have a prescription. So anything that we can do to try to keep people from getting hooked on opioids uh, is going to save lives. In Billings, David J, MTN News.